Lineage OS, the people behind Lineage OS are the same folks who were behind Cyanogen mod. So Cyanogen mod was a hugely popular mod, uh, mod or you could say ROM for Android devices. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Asim and today we are going to start with the third part of Android SSL unpinning thing. Hope you have seen the past two parts. So in this part, I am going to talk about Lineage OS. Uh, if you have not heard about it, it's totally fine. We will be discussing about that. So before I delve into Lineage OS, I would uh, require to give you some background around that. So for that, I would be talking about AOSP and custom ROMs. So that would be a very short intro kind of thing. And then we would talk about what's Lineage OS, why, why do we require Lineage OS and ca can we really do without Lineage OS? Like can we try any other custom ROMs as well? So yeah, stay with me till the end and you would get all your answers. So yeah, let's start with this. This is the Android open source projects uh, like AOSP's homepage and uh, AOSP is basically the base of Android. So any of these Android devices, be it wearable watches or be it your mobile phones or smart TVs, any of these things that has a Android operating system or a flavor of that. So that would definitely be based on these code. So there's this Android open source uh, project. So this is the base code of that. And anything that's made, it's made onto it. So if you go here, you could see the code as well. So go to code and you could see the super project thing here. So this contains all the files and every library and everything that's required by Android to run on a mobile device. So that's AOSP Android open source project. Now let's talk about what are custom ROMs. So like you could uh, see the analogy as let's say this, there's this Linux kernel and then there are various flavors of uh, Linux onto it. Like there's Ubuntu, there's Linux Mint, there's Cinnamon, there's Kali Linux, there's Backtrack. So there are a lot of these flavors, right? So these are what custom ROMs are in the mobile world. So Android open source project is the kernel and custom ROMs are like, let's say this uh, Oxygen OS that comes with um, OnePlus phone. So the, and the operating system of OnePlus devices are an Oxygen OS. Same goes for MIUI and then Vue. So all these companies, what they do is they they take the code of Android open source project and then they add some tweaks or they fine tune it for their own device. They change, they change a few things, they add some features onto that and then they ship it as their own. So that's basically custom ROMs. It's not limited to companies only. So there are many open source enthusiasts and of organizations that make these uh, operating systems for free like like you have Ubuntu for mobile and uh, for laptops and desktops same goes for mobile phone so like this is the page for xdadevelopers.com so it's one of the most popular forums for these kinds of things like Android hacks or uh, modifications custom ROMs so let's see uh, some of these most popular custom ROMs as uh, like as of this, it's Lineage OS and we'll talk why it's the most popular only. Then there's Omni ROM, there are Paranoid Android, Resurrection Remix OS. I've tried this one as well, Pixel Experience. So if you install Pixel Experience, you would uh, get the experience as a Pixel device. And I've also used this AOSP Extended. So in my previous device, the previous testing device that I had, that was Leno K3 Note, I had this AOSP extended onto that. Probably there was some issue with this uh, lineage OS for that device, so I had this. So these are all like the most popular custom ROMs. And yeah, so now let's talk about what's lineage OS. So lineage OS, the people behind lineage OS are the same folks who were behind Cyanogen mod. So Cyanogen mod was a hugely popular mod, uh, mod or you could say ROM for Android devices. And then they revamped the whole thing and from I think Android Nugget, uh, like Android 7, they created this Lineage OS and the branding and logo and everything changed. So I would show you on my device as well as how that looks. So, so let's talk about what are the benefits that you get with Lineage OS. So the first thing is it's very easy to root. Second is it supports a huge number of devices and it's stable on almost all these devices. 
third thing is it has very minimal bloatware if any so probably you won't find any of these advertisements of bloatware and that like that adds to the speed that you get so it's very smooth to use and very very like very nice interface so even if you are not like uh, watching this for android ssl pinning thing you could still have this on your mobile phone so that you get a very premium experience without any bloatware like i have seen on mi and xiaomi devices like xiaomi devices and vivo and all those devices that there are a lot of bloatwares even on samsung devices oneplus thankfully they don't have any bloatware and i'm quite quite happy with this after using this device for almost 2 years now so yeah so you could have linear joys as your personal device also if you not if you don't want for a testing only so let's come on to the question do do you really require this so not no exactly you don't require linear joys but you definitely require a rooted device so if you already have a rooted device with any of your custom rom or maybe not any custom rom just rooted device that's also totally fine we we can do with that also so let's talk about how you are going to go with the downloading and installing part so this is the download page of lineage os uh, the link would be in the description or you could find it on the home page also so i think there's this download button and this would open this page so here you could see that there are different devices listed so since this my this device is lenovo zook z2 plus so if you see on the bottom corner of my screen here is this lenovo zook z2 plus so choose the device that you already have and for that you would get these files so there would be two files first one would be the actual rom which would be around 600 mb so this is you could see the nightly build and then the you would find this uh, recovery image thing so you need to download both of these files and for the installation instructions are in in very detail they have been already mentioned for all of these devices so installation linear joys on z2 plus how you would go on with installing this so just follow this along and don't skip a step it's very simple and you would easily follow along and if you just follow it along you would easily get to install this so yeah that's about it hope you like this video if you like it press the thumb press the thumb button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and colleagues in the next part uh, i will be talking about magisk installation the different modules and why those are required and then i would also show you the burp certification installation and why proxy droid is being used and ssl unpinning would be coming in the last part where we would be using the flipkart app and showing you how ssl unpinning would uh, allow us to sniff the https traffic so yeah have a nice day stay tuned